Hello everyone, today we're gonna have the HL congruence theorems. Previous to this, we, uh, we have a video that talks about angle, side, angle, 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 side, 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 and side, angle, side. I will put the link of those video in the description box below. But today we're gonna be taking hypotenuse leg theorem. This HL works only for right triangle, but not every right triangle is HL, or not every right triangles can be proven through HL. So let's have um, let's have the parts of the right triangle first before we uh, move on. So please remember that there are two parts of a triangle. The legs are the ones that are connected to the right angle. So these two are the legs, and then opposite across from the uh, small square is the hypotenuse which is the longest side in a triangle so in this case that we have right here we have a hypotenuse here that's across the 90 degrees and this is a leg so then this is an HL congruence theorem again this is hypotenuse and this is the leg so that's HL so from here we can therefore um, correspond we can find their corresponding angles that's A, B, C. <clears throat> that means it's going to be D, E, F. So this is triangle D, E, and F. So we have completed everything. Again, there are other, there are other videos for all the rest of the uh, congruent statements here. So that is angle, side, angle. <clears throat> that is angle, angle, side, that is side, side, side. This is side, angle, side. And this is HL. Now, what are we gonna do next is I will give you some triangles and we are going to determine um, which theorem would work for this. So we, we now have five choices. So ASA, AAS, SSS, SAS or HL. So let's start with the first triangle right here. So uh, looking at this, this is a right triangle. So there's a possibility that we can take HL. But then again, uh, a right triangle doesn't have to be HL. It can be SSS, it can be SAS and the rest of them. So but in this case right here, uh, uh, others are going to say, where's the other side that is congruent? Please remember that this side right here is shared by both triangles which means that um, these sides are, uh, that's the hypotenuse. This is the hypotenuse and this is the leg. So then we can go ahead and say this is HL. We cannot prove this because others are gonna say, is there another way that we can prove this? This is an angle, side and side. There is no theorem that tells us that it's congruent angle, side, side. It's not gonna work. So that is an HL. So if we have a triangle M, N, O, so oh, it went to one tick going to 90. So I start from here, went to one tick, side with a one tick and to 90. So the pattern goes O, P, M. So it's like M, N, O. So on the other side, that would be O, P, M. So this is O, P, M. Now let's take the next one right here. This is pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. So we get a side, we get an angle, and we get a side, and it matches on the other side here. So T R W. So the match would be. Uh, by the way, this is S A S, and the the match would be X Y Z. So triangle T R W is congruent to triangle X Y Z. Let's take the third one here. Please remember that these angles are congruent. They are called uh, vertical angles. So this is vertical angle. Vertical angles are congruent even if it's not ticked. Automatic vertical angles are congruent. So we have here, uh, we have a side, an angle, and a side. So we have a side, an angle, and a side. So this is SAS. And uh, the pattern starts from W, Q, E. So the other side would be um, A, L, E. So that is A, L, and E. Okay. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this next problem on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. 
Okay, let's go over the problem here. Let's see what you got. So first we have here um, another angle, automatic, this side, even if there's if it's not being ticked. The, again, that's automatic uh, uh, congruent since these two angles are vertical. So we can go ahead and say the pattern is angle, angle, and a side. So the side is not included. It's not in the middle. So this is angle, angle, and a side. So then uh, the, the pattern, I mean, the, uh, uh, the triangle is named as D, F, G. So the pattern would be A, B, G. So this is A, B, and G. Again, these letters should not get switched around because they are, they are a match. These angles are corresponding congruent angles. Let's take the next one right here. So again, this side right here is uh, congruent. Again, the reason for that is vertical. So these two are vertical angles. So even if they are not being ticked, automatic, they are uh, even if they they don't have tick marks, they are automatic congruent since they are vertical. So this is an angle, side, and angle. So this is a S A. So uh, the triangle is named H Y P. So how do we fill this congruent statement in? So that is H Y P. So that would be M Y T. So this is M Y T. Let's take the next one right here. We have um, others are going to say like, where is that other side that would be congruent? So this is shared by both of them. If they are sharing it, they, it is congruent. So then we can go ahead and say this is an angle, side, and angle. So angle, side, and angle. So this is ASA. And we have WQE. So WQE. That means this is W M E. Did you get the same answers as this? Good, perfect. Now I would want you to try this next problems out on your own. Okay, let's go over this. We start with the first one. This is an HL. So this is the hypotenuse. And again, they are sharing the same side right here, which is the, I'm uh, sorry, this is the, this is the uh, leg. That's the leg. And this is the hypotenuse. So this is HL. And the, pa I mean, the triangle is named as J, G, H. So I go H, K, J. So that is H, K, and J. This one right here, all the sides are being ticked. So this is S, S, S. So this is S, S, S. And so M, K, T, M, K, T. The pattern here would be B, C, A. So that's B, C, A. And we have the last one here. We have this uh, side right here is shared by both of them. So then we can go ahead and say this is an ang uh, this is a side, this is an angle, and this is a side. So then this is an S A S, and then it goes R T E. So R P E. So this is R P E. Did you get the same answers as this? Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.